going on YouTube? So today's video will be about the car and pretty much to give you an update about what happened last weekend, the car, the roof popped up right as I was crossing the finish line. And now if you try to close it, this is too far forward right here. So I'm gonna end up removing the top today since obviously it's broken. Um, not sure exactly what's broken on it, but we'll do our best to figure that out. Granted, the ultimate goal is to not even have a soft top anymore, have a removable hard top that covers the deck lid and everything at the same time. So here we go. First off, I don't know exactly how to remove the top. I am going to be dismantling this for the first time and uh, hopefully you all can follow along. Right now, I'm loosening up these straps. Typically the straps are attached to these nuts right here, bolts and nuts, and they're behind the carpet. At least I think. <laughs> I don't remember if they were there, but they're covered with these right here. So those pop on, I'm assuming to protect. I'm only putting the uh, nuts back in so I can keep track of where hardware is at. Come on. So I'm gonna start with this side. Uh, looks like two bo two nuts in there, a nut down there for the mechanical side, and then you got that looks like nut for this bar right here for the actual uh, what size is that? Uh, it's a ten. This bar right here is popping out as I unscrew. Yeah, unloosen this. Go ahead and remove this one. These are the uh, drain tubes for the top. That's loose. Um, yeah. All right. Those two things are loose. I'm gonna put them together. And let's go with this. None of these things seem to be really tight at all. Yeah. All right. It's gonna be a 10 millimeter to take this off. Hold 
things attached. Bump stop right there. It's a little bit more complicated than I thought. that's for but this is to that wind deflector that pretty much everybody and their brother buys for these things and bar right there 10 millimeter bolt with what looks like a pretty big washer Okay, the nut is welded in, so you don't need a backing wrench for that. But whoever installed this ran it through in such a way. No, never mind. We'll be able to get it out without unplugging that. short one. Do I have a short 10? Yeah, all my stuff's all intermingled. Yeah, I do have a short 10. Do, do, do. There are two 10 millimeter now it's right here. You gotta disconnect. And it's too loose for the ratchet. There we go. I got it with the hand. that off not intentionally just trying to pull it out you gotta take this Whee. I'm gonna end up taking the antenna off I don't listen to the radio in here anyway For the other side, same situation. Situation. Go ahead and put these down. Uh, hold on, I gotta take this one off. Fixes that. Yeah, there we go. There goes the phone. Per use, I break stuff.
Tops out of the car. Scraped it up a little bit, coming out. He said, you wanna have somebody else working with you when you do this. I unfortunately do not have friends that like to work on cars. That's it for today, and if this is your first time stopping in, please give me a like, comment, and subscribe. And you all have a good day.